Hi, welcome to a new video, and uh, this one's basically taking a look at um, a tool I came across, weirdly enough, on Instagram. It popped up on my Instagram feed as a suggestion, um, and I went and I had a look at it. Uh, mainly because I've tried getting my PSVR headset working with my PC with limited results and being perfectly honest it's just too much of a ball lake to do seriously and um, the PSVR is such low res that the end results are very rarely that satisfying in all honesty um, and you know you've then got other options I could go out and spend an absolute fortune on um, a VR headset but I don't have the funds to do that right now. Um, or you then have the option of something like um, Track IR, but Track IR is not exactly cheap itself, a couple of hundred quid for that. So what this claim to basically do is use the camera in your smartphone along with um, an open source tracking um, program. So the tracking program effectively sits on your um, PC or laptop and so you connect that to your phone and this app which is 10 quid so 10 pounds um, basically uses the phone's camera to track your head movement across uh, six degrees of freedom which is all sounds pretty good being perfectly honest um, so I thought for a tenner well why not give it a go and see exactly what it's like um, and I have to say the end results were really really quite impressive um, so I've tried it with uh, a good number of games, not a definitive list, but a, a good number of games that I had available to me. And it worked with the vast majority of titles that uh, I gave it a go with. So just really, and the video footage here is the ones that it worked with. So Assetto Corsa worked absolutely fine. Assetto Corsa Competizione worked absolutely fine. Uh, Race Room Racing Evolution, R Factor 2, the Original Auto, Mobilista, Live for Speed, Dirt Rally 2, Beam NG. All of them, straight out of the box, no issues, worked absolutely fine. Um, titles I couldn't get it to work with, WRC 9, didn't work with that. Um, Cartcraft, but that's still early access, so that one didn't surprise me massively. And then both Project Cars 2 and Automobilista 2 didn't work. But I have read there are issues um, with Track IR working with those two as well, and it appears to be something with the Madness engine on that. But the upshot here is the vast majority of these titles work perfectly well with it. I have learned a few things with regard to this. Um, you want to try and get your frame rate up as high as possible for this to be smooth. It really does make a big difference um, and it's absolutely critical to get your field of view set right as well um, because without that um, things look very strange and your head movements don't track naturally. But you get your FPS above 60 consistently get your field of view set well and being perfectly honest it it works really well is it going to give you the same degree of visibility that um, a vr headset would give you absolutely not no of course it's not that would be a dar thing to do um or to think it would do is it as good as track ir honestly can't tell you and i'm not going to drop 200 odd notes just to find out whether it is or not is it for 10 pounds worth it Yes, is my honest opinion. Um, the setup on it was fairly straightforward. The website around this gives a good um, run through and a video on how to do it. It's basically just making sure that you give permission in your um, Windows Defender firewall for um, the app to talk out. You then basically just get the port setting um, from the open source tracking software and your um, PC or laptop's IP address set up the um, client and on your mobile phone and bingo away you go once you pop those in um, it works perfectly you can even map a recenter button um, on your keyboard or as i found work perfectly well on my um, t300 as well so i just set a button on my t300 hit that and bang recenters um, allows you to look to apex a hell of a lot easier Ooh. That is another important thing. If you've got something like Look to Apex set on a title, you need to take that off as well. Otherwise, it's trying to do both, which, again, just doesn't flow naturally when you're doing that. But overall, 
given the price, £10. I mean, you can see the results here for yourself. Um, I found it very quick, very easy to set up and use. You can even set different profiles up against the games within the PC side client. Um, you can set it to auto launch when you fire those games up with that particular group of settings. So it's heavily customizable. I'm being perfectly honest for £10 works incredibly well. Um, I was using this on an iPhone 11. Um, actual battery usage was very good. Um, two, three hour stint with no issues around that at all. Um, you can use it quite easily um, in either horizontal or vertical format and it doesn't actually need to be bang on straight in front of you either. Um, I was using this at probably an offset of about 20 degrees off to my left and it still picked up the head tracking incredibly well. Um, works really quite smoothly, really quite impressively and I uh, have to be perfectly honest, yeah, smooth track. Um, is what it's called. I don't think I've even mentioned that yet. That's not remarkably bad of me. Yeah, the app's called Smooth Track and it's available for both iPhone and Android. As I say, not tested the Android version, have tested the iPhone version. Works incredibly well. Um, <laughs> strongly recommend you give it a go, being perfectly honest, because for a tenor, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. Um, it has to rank up there as a, a bit of a bargain, in all honesty. It does what it says on the tin, and, you know, it's about £190 cheaper than Track IR and a hell of a lot cheaper than a VR headset, but, you know, and gives you basically pretty much what it says on the tin. Well worth a look, in my view. So, hopefully you found that quite useful. Um, if you have given this a go, um, or you think this is interesting, please do drop the comments down below. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, please do hit the like button and subscribe away, and uh, click on the bell icon to be notified when new content gets uploaded. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.